Welcome everyone. Today I'm going to make snail jello, otherwise known as snello, for my snail scent trip. I will be using a combination of fruits, veggies, a protein source, and supplements to make this. So let's get right into it. For the fruits, I will be using one slice of pear, one slice of apple, half a banana, and one frozen strawberry. For the veggies, I'll be using three or four green beans, half a carrot, about a one inch slice of zucchini, this much broccoli, and about a half inch slice of sweet potato. I'll also be adding some supplements, and for this specifically, I'll be using calcium carbonate powder, as well as spirulina. And lastly, for the protein, I got frozen bloodworms from my local fish shop. To prepare the veg, I prefer to steam it. That's because it preserves the nutrients better over boiling. I usually steam it for about 8 or so minutes or until it is soft. Once it is done, remove and drain the water. I like to cool it down in cold water so that the heat from the steaming veg does not cook the fruits and affect the supplements when they're all sitting together in the blender. Next, I will blend the veg and fruits all together in a small blender until it's liquid and you can add a bit of water to make sure that the blending is easier as well. Once it is all blended, you can pour it all into a small pot. And here you can add one packet of gelatin powder. Personally, I'm using one and a half packets because I find that it binds it a bit better and the jello is a bit harder. You can experiment with this on your own and see what works best for you. You'd want to stir it all together over medium heat until the jello is dissolved. This won't take very long at all, just a couple of minutes. Once you reach the consistency you're looking for, line a baking tray with saran wrap and pour your smoothie over it. Let it cool for a few minutes and then you can place it in the fridge for a couple of hours to let the jello set. And once it is set, you can cut it into small cube-sized pieces. What I found from experience is make sure you line each layer with wax paper, or else it's all going to clump into one large ice block and it's really hard to remove small pieces to feed your animals with. And after this, you can store it in the freezer for months and months to come. So that's the basic recipe and procedure on how to make snello. Now watch what happens when I feed them to the snails and shrimp.
If you'd like to know how I prepare food to feed my cherry shrimp, you can click this video here. In the meantime, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon.